Hi, and welcome to Parkinson's Wellness Wednesdays. My name's Alison, and I'm an exercise physiologist who works for Parkinson's New South Wales. Parkinson's New South Wales exercises are not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please consult your own health professional before engaging in any online fitness programs. Our weekly Parkinson's Wellness Wednesdays are to encourage people living with Parkinson's, their families, carers and friends to be more active and learn why being more active is so important for people with Parkinson's. Today we're continuing on from the last few weeks about rigidity and stiffness. Rigidity also adds to other difficulties as well as speech, which we covered last week, such as turning over in bed, writing, doing up buttons, just getting up off the lounge. How do we work on improving our mobility and limbering up our body? Exercise and medicine are the two main treatments for rigidity. Your prescription Parkinson's medication should assist in easing your rigidity. However, if you're concerned about your levels and you're still particularly stiff, please see your specialist and discuss your options with them. Another helpful option, of course, is physiotherapy and or massage. This can really assist with um, stiffness and cramping of any muscles, but needs to be done fairly regularly. Exercise, specifically flexibility stretching exercises, are the next best way to combat stiffness after medication. Flexibility exercises involve movements that stretch your muscles until they're loose and lengthen, which will improve your freedom of movement. The ease of movement will mean the daily activities you've done will be done with much greater ease and a lot less effort, making life that bit better for you. The best time to do flexibility stretching exercises is when your muscles are already warmed up. After five or 10 minutes of easy exercising or after a workout, a small walk around the block, get the blood flowing a little bit. They don't tend to stretch as well when they're cold, so you want those muscles warm. While stretching flexibility exercises need to be done slowly and smoothly to ease the muscles into the desired positions you want. Only stretch as far as is comfortable for you. No pain, no shaking in the muscle. That's when damage can be happening. The guidelines for stretching um, are you do about 10 minutes or so in each session of stretching. So just set aside 10 minutes a day if you can. That's brilliant. The stretch for around three to four times a week. If you can get it in daily, even better again. Hold each stretch for around 10 to 30 seconds. And of course, the 30 seconds is better than the 10 seconds. But if you've got a rush day, doing a quick series of um, six, 10 second stretches is far better than not doing any at all. Repeat each stretch two to three times each session. So don't just do it once and say, oh, that 30 seconds is done. Do the next 30 sessions for 30 seconds and do it again. And each time you'll find you'll go a little bit further in the stretch. No bouncing or jerking or overextending of the muscle, which will cause pain, so back off from pain. And of course, it does can also injure the muscle as well. So be careful, should be comfortable. Today, I'm going to show you an easy shoulder stretch. This one, you're lying flat on your back. If your bed's firm enough, it can be done before you go to sleep at night or before you get up in the morning or both. Otherwise, you can use the floor, a wide bench, a table, whatever's available and is easy for you. Just pretend I'm lying flat on my back at the moment. You slowly lift your arms up as high as they will go. Now, it varies. Some people will only get them as high as there, there, and hopefully the full extent is when you can get your shoulders and whole arms behind your head completely and hold them there. Now you're just lying on the floor with your arms over your head and if they are hovering a little bit above the floor, that's great. Just relax the muscles and let gravity help pull them down. That's what you're looking for is that gentle stretch. You'll feel it under the arms and around the shoulder joints. This one, you can just lie down and let the arms hang. I'll put a picture up so you can have a look at a, another gentleman doing this particular um, exercise. Please type any questions you have into the comments section and I'm here and I'll answer them as soon as possible. If the question you'd like to ask is personal and you prefer not to write it in the comments, 
please send us a private message through Messenger or call our info line on 1800 644 189. Thanks for watching. Keep well and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.